Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be evaluating a logarithmic expression in terms of another one. We are given log 27 with base 12 equals a and we're supposed to evaluate log 16 with base 6 in terms of a. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method I'm going to be using an exponential approach as opposed to a logarithmic approach. So by using the definition of logs, we can write from the first equation, 12 to the power a is equal to 27. If you're not familiar with logs, that's basically what it means. So we're writing an exponential equation in a different way. 12 to the power a is equal to 27. And 12 can be written as 2 to the second power times 3. So I'm doing the prime factorization on 12. And 27 can be written as 3 to the third power. So since a is a common power, we can write this as 2 to the power 2a multiply by 3 to the power a equals 3 to the third power. Now let's put the powers of 3 together. In other words, divide both sides by 3 to the power a. And that's going to give us 2 to the power 2a equals 3 to the power 3 minus a. Because we're dividing 3 to the third power by 3 to the power a. So we're supposed to subtract exponents. Great. So we kind of got the 2's and 3's on different sides. Now let's go ahead and isolate the 2 here. So I want to write, I want to have the 2 by itself. So I would basically do the following. B raise both sides to the power 1 over 2a. I think it's clear that a does not equal 0, hopefully, right? So here on the right hand side we're going to have 3 to the power 3 minus a. And that is going to be raised to the power 1 over 2a. In other words, we're going to divide the exponents by the same thing, but the 2a cancels out. And here we get 2 equals 3 to the power 3 minus a divided by 2a. So this is going to be critical. We're going to use this later on. Let's save it. Now, we're, tr we're trying to evaluate this expression. Let's call that x. So log 16 with base 6 equals x. And again, by using the definition of logs, we can write this as 6 to the power x equals 16. Remember, our goal is to find x in terms of a. And we have an equation for a. Okay, let's go ahead and break down the 6 into 2 times 3. So we can write this as 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x. And then 16 can be written as 2 to the fourth power. And we're going to do the same thing, exact same thing. Put the powers of 2 and 3 on different sides. So we can write this as 3 to the power x equals 2 to the power 4 minus x by way of division. So, remember in our first equation we, were, we isolated the 2. Let's do the same thing here. So, I can just go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over 4 minus x. In other words, divide the exponents by 4 minus x. And this is just going to be 2 to the power 4 minus x divided by 4 minus x, which is going to be 2 to the first power, which is 2. Great. So, we got another equation for 2. And both of these are equal to 2. If two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal. Hopefully you know that principle, right? Transitive property or I don't know, something something like that. But you get the idea. So now we're going to set those to equal to each other. And since our goal is to find x, even though it doesn't matter, I'd like to keep the x on the left hand side. So I'm going to write it this way. 3 to the power x over 4 minus x is equal to 2, which is also equal to 3 to the power 3 to the power 3 minus a divided by 2a. Awesome. Now, we got the same basis, which is good, because now we can equate the exponents. So this means x over 4 minus x, and obviously all these cases are of question like a cannot be 0, x cannot be 4, because as you know, it's the log of um, not unrelated numbers. So it can't be an integer, so on and so forth, right? Okay, so we're, I'm kind of skipping all of those details. So now we got the following. Great, right? No, not so great. We, we are supposed to solve for x. Let's, let's go ahead and go through the process. It's a little painful, but, you know, a little bit of algebra here. Cross multiply 2ax and then set it equal to, you know, just multiply these. Let's go ahead and distribute 12 minus 4a minus, uh oh, just messing it up. 12 minus 4a and then minus 3x plus ax. Since our goal is to solve for x, let's go ahead and put everything that has x on the same side. We're going to bring this over here and we're going to bring this over here. 2ax minus ax is just going to be ax. Bring the 3x over. And on the, on the right hand side, we have this, two, these two expressions. Take out x. And then from here, you're going to be able to solve for x. Because remember, our goal was to solve for x and find it in terms of a. And 
that's going to be the answer. All right. So that is our first method. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So my second method, um, I don't know if it's shorter or easier. You're going to decide. But here's what we have. Log 27 is A, and we're supposed to find log 16, and there are different bases, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use COB formula. What is it? Change of base. I know somebody used this in the comments, and I'm just stealing it. Hopefully you don't mind. LN27 over LN12 is equal to A. So I'm going to use change. Uh, I'm choosing change of base. Now, two, 27 is 3 to the third power. So can I write this as 3 LN3? Hopefully you allow me to do that. And this is LN4 plus LN3 because LN12, 12 is 4 times 3, and we're using the properties. So can I write the LN4 as 2 LN2 plus LN3? Hopefully that makes sense. And this is equal to what? A. Awesome. What am I going to do here? Well, we're just going to cross multiply. Let's see what happens. 3 LN3 equals 2 A LN2 plus A LN3. So this is a little messy, but here's the idea. I would like to put all the LN3s on the same side so that I can factor it out. So it's all about factoring. Let's take out LN3. And you're going to get a similar pattern here, obviously. And then you can kind of isolate LN3 here and write it as 2a over 3 minus a multiplied by ln2. So we, we kind of wrote the ln3 as a multiple of ln2, not an integer, but anyways. So now we're going to use this expression in uh, the second equation. What is the second one? It is log 16 with base 6, remember? And I can just write it as ln16 over ln6 by change of base again. But this is ln2 to the fourth, and this is ln2 plus ln3, because uh, 2 times 3 is 6, and this is 4 ln2 over ln2 plus ln3. Awesome. Now, this is what I have, and this is what I have. What can I do? I can replace ln3 with something, right? I can just go ahead and plug it in. So notice that we have an ln3 here, and I can uh, replace that with this expression right here. Make sense? Okay, let's do it. So my expression that I'm trying to evaluate can be written as 4 ln2 divided by ln2 plus ln3, which can be written as 2a over 3 minus a times ln2, and this is the critical part. You can take out ln2 and factor. I mean, simplify, whatever. For ln2, take out ln2, you're going to get 1 plus 2a over 3 minus a. This is what we're trying to evaluate. Go ahead and simplify this, and you're going to get the same answer. Let's do it. 4 over 3 minus a plus 2a over 3 minus a. i got to make the fraction bar larger or longer so people don't complain about it. 3 plus a over 3 minus a. Flip and multiply. 4 times 3 minus a is 12 minus 4a. Divide by 3 plus a. This is equal to log 16 with base. Ooh, log 16 is base because I wrote the base wrong. Okay, this should be a 6 and that should be a 16. And this brings us to the same answer and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.